is from Morocco. We actually serve as the Yes, it's Excel London. The oh, actually, this is from Morocco. Venue for the World Travel Market and the 2023 edition of World Travel Market is taking place right here at the Excel in East London. Let's join in and participate in this World Travel Market 2023. Here we are. This is the venue right in my back here is the Excel Central London where the WTA World Travel Market 2023 is taking place. So I would like you to World Travel Market 2023. There's need for us to check one thing. It is jamboree or it, oh, it's quite noisy here. it is anyway and also we also have the Abu Dhabi experience you know we are the everybody just showcasing what they've got to the world anyway so we want to say in place are around here in the world travel markets but let's check it out in the Africa stand where we expect to see Nigeria for the seventh time in a row we've not been seeing the that big magnificent Nigerian stand of which what is the reason for that why are we not seeing more of the Nigerian stand and what's actually going on in the tourism industry in Nigeria? So, I have the pleasure of meeting with some stakeholders. I speak with the Director General of Nigerian Tourism, formerly NTDC, now NTDA, and also some other stakeholders like uh, National Association of Nigerian Travel Agencies, NANTA, and others. Please stay tuned and let's watch more. This is World Travel Market. Please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. Director General of NTDC says it's possible we have Nigerian stand coming up as from 2024 World Travel Markets. But we asked a question regarding how about the domestic tourism? In what way is the NTDC or the Authority of Nigeria helping this domestic tourism? Magnificent, you know, Nigerian stand at the World Travel Market. This is it, Doctor. Um, Follow on shore, Kuka. Thank you. What, what everybody is selling here is domestic splendor. It's what they have grown, what they have curated, what is beautiful to use that they're selling to the world. Uh, fortunately, we had a basket of issues that has labeled us globally in unfavorable light. So we focus on domestic tourism, which is building our own domestic capacity in terms of tourism. Um, if it wasn't for domestic tourism, uh, how would most of the travel industry have survived COVID? They depended on Nigerians patronizing them. Um, we spent six years focused on our domestic industry with no budget to come to an international market. Um, I'm here today just to see what is going on in, in the international market scene and to prepare that hopefully in the next year uh, with all the tools that we have in Nigeria, um, we can actually bring them out here and showcase Nigeria in better light than we have ever done. Because the absence of Nigeria stand is concerned to most people around here. But quite significantly we see the stand by National Association of Nigerian Travel Agencies, NAMTA, which actually helps people to find where Nigeria is. So where are we standing now? over tourism in Nigeria. Let's continue the conversation with the stakeholders in the Nigerian tourism. Right, I mean, getting the home, see, see, uh, to begin to Ananta. Uh, Ananta is uh, in, the, in the umbrella body of all, body of all, uh, all licensed travel agents in Nigeria, uh, with about uh, 3,000 plus members across Nigeria. And it has uh, five zones. Uh, we have the Northern Dome, we have the Abuja, we have Lagos, we have Western, we have and we have Eastern Dons. Yeah, uh, and is, uh, with about uh, 17 month delegation uh, to the World Travel Market 2023 in London. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's very, really, very really impressive to see yeah. you have it displayed different uh, tourism potentials of Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Lagos State Tourism, Heart and Culture, yeah. and some others are around here. Yes. So tell us more. What do you expect? Why? 
the need for um, world, you know, travel enthusiasts or travel enthusiasts to come to Nigeria. We, um, um, yes, we, we we are actually here in, 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 in WTM in order to showcase the tourism potential and the to tourism reach uh, in Nigeria. And uh, uh, through the private sector, we are travel as a private sector driven uh, tourism uh, activities so, in Nigeria. As an authority, what do you say about the way forward to Nigeria? Authority? Stop waiting for us to look like Dubai. Stop waiting for us to look like. Ethiopia. Stop making, waiting for us to look like London. We are what we are. Use what you have to make the best of what you can. If you keep going through that dialogue of this is there, I mean, we had a previous conversation in security, you never get it done. Use, use what you have now and do the best you can with it. Do your best. Yes. So we should do our best. And so that's what a good government and. Afrobeat is better than anybody else's in the world. Are you using it well? No. Nollywood is second in the world. Are you using it well? No. Just two. You're number one or two in the world. You're not using it well. So what are you complaining about? You're waiting for JF Kennedy Airport in America before you know that you have an asset in terms of the factors of, 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 of cultural expression. It's time we woke up. Time for us to wake up. We have a new law. Use it. We have a new ministry. Use it. We have a new minister. Use it. All I hear is the good old complaints. A lot of these countries don't have what we have. They don't. So this is a call for all and everyone Nigeria to so actually explore and exploit our own tourism potential. Yes. All what we have. Wake up to what you have and do the best with it. Both ecotourism, aquatourism, uh, transport tourism. Wake uh, up and be grateful to God that you have this and use it to the best of your abilities. Stop waiting and comparing and rating yourself against countries that don't even have the choices you have or the capacity you have. Thank you very much. My pleasure meeting with uh, me, too, sir. It's my pleasure, sir. So, thank you very much, sir. Uh, it's my pleasure meeting you again. Thank you. <laughs> All World good. Market. Take thank care. You, Bye. So we, we are here today and throughout the event so that we can showcase what we have in the country and what other people from different parts of the world can benefit uh, if, they go, if, they, if they come for tourism in Nigeria. We have a lot of landscape, we have a lot of things, we have a lot of uh, adventurous sea to explore, we have a lot of potentials in, the, in this industry. That means you are actually taking to uh, exploring what's called domestic tourism. That's what yes, of course, because tourism is our, it should be the next victim for Nigeria uh, because of the way we have a lot of things uh, for visitors to see, for visitors to explore, and for visitors to benefit. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank uh, you. Travel Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. I hope you enjoy so, watching this. So, we are really really to, more uh, 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 to, in, to promote its tourism potentials. Thank you for watching. Please, see you in the next video.